All right, quick public service announcement, y'all. The Carolina Panthers are going to take down the Kansas City Chiefs this Sunday, November 24th. Remember, you heard it here first. That's right, and if you haven't guessed it, the Panthers are my team. Now, I have to show you how to add an item to a SharePoint list in under 60 seconds in order to keep wearing my hat. If I can't do it, if I don't beat the timer, then I got to take it off. Let's see if I can keep it on. Stick around, y'all. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard. Okay, let's get that timer rolling. All right, first thing you're going to do is once you get to that list, you're going to find a little button that says add new item. You're going to click on that bad boy and you're going to get a form. It's going to ask you a bunch of questions. You're going to answer all those questions to the best of your ability. We're in a widget tracker, so this is going to be widget Juliet. Let's rock and roll. Status of it, requirements gathering, no attachments needed. Click on save. Ba-bam. You did it. I get to keep my hat on. I love it. Okay. All right, we're going to slow it down and take it step by step and share a couple more tips and tricks. Basically, it is super straightforward. You get presented with a new list. Uh, you just got to find the add new item button. Uh, we're talking just, you know, super simple. Click on add new item and then you're presented with the form. Now, this form is just gathering information about the widget. It's gathering metadata. Metadata is just data about data. So each one of these fields correspond to a column in this list. So if we take a look, we can see we've got title column, status column. It's all we got right here right now. Super simple. So when you add a new item, it's going to ask you for those pieces of metadata, properties, tags, whatever you want to call it. It's just stuff, you know, it's basically just replacing folders is, I mean, that's one way to look at it, you know, and instead of there being like folders, um, having to dig down into, you know, open up and look and see a folder that contains all the widgets that are in the development phase. So we're going to go widget uh, Lima. We'll go with the status requirements gathering and we click on save and now it's added to the list. So let's say you've got like just a whole bunch of these and, and you're thinking, you know what? Um, that's really going to suck to have to go add new item, fill out the form, save, like that just seems like I don't really want to do that. Um, so you can edit in grid view. Basically, it's going to be like you're typing in Excel. Okay, so we need to add some more widgets here. We're in edit. So basically, you just go down to the bottom here, click on add new item. We'll call this widget kilo. We can tab over, choose the stage. Click add new item, add another widget, Lima, tab, select the stage, and so on and so forth. So that way you don't have to click add new item each time. When you're all done, you can click on exit grid view. However, maybe you didn't mean for this to be launched. So you can click undo, fix it, and exit grid view, and then your changes are saved. So there you go. Adding items to a list, super easy, take you less than 60 seconds. Thank you so much for watching. If you found something you like, please like, share, subscribe. We are trying to get to 4,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Thank you for your support. Hope this has been helpful. Remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard.